Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. Today, I'm gonna to be going over with you guys one of the fragrances that I've been working on. So I'm gonna give you the full note breakdown. I'm gonna give you the perfumer, the idea behind the fragrance, how the fragrance smells, all of that in this video. A little while back, I did a video where I told you guys that I was working on my own fragrances. At the time, I didn't let you know any of the perfumers, any of the ideas, any of the notes, anything, just kind of let you know that I had something cooking. And now I'm gonna start giving you guys everything you need to know about these fragrances. Like I said, the notes, perfumers, ideas behind them, all that stuff. So let's jump into it. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about one fragrance and there's going to be more videos to come similar to this one where I break down other fragrances that I've been working on. I'll also have some videos where people give their opinions on the fragrances, you know, standard stuff at this point, just to give you guys an idea of how they smell. That way you can figure out which ones you may or may not be interested in. All right, so this first fragrance that we're gonna talk about today is perfumed by Jorge Lee. So he is the nose of this fragrance. He's probably most well known for fragrances he's done for the house Nishane, including Hasavat, Sultan Vetiver, which is a big favorite of mine, and Wulong Ta. This fragrance, which I have right here, is primarily a tobacco fragrance, or at least that's, if you want to really make it a Cliff's Notes, what it's about. But really, there's a whole lot more going on in this fragrance. This one to me, really classy, absolutely in love with the fragrance, but to be fair, all the fragrances that I've been working on, I'm in love with, otherwise I wouldn't release them. If I thought that they sucked, there's a 0% chance that I would put them out there. That would just be embarrassing. So this one, really refined, gentlemanly, sophisticated, not a, a hyper sweet pipe tobacco. It's not really trying to go that route whatsoever. This one concentrating more on a tobacco leaf with just extremely high quality ingredients all the way around. Actually, the number of natural ingredients in this, very high to the point that Jorge Lee actually said, if we wanted to, this could be advertised as a natural fragrance just because of the high level of naturals in here. I'm gonna go over with you guys the note breakdowns, so the top, the mid, the base, and I'm also going to leave in the origin of the notes as well. So the origin of the ingredients, I should say. Some fragrance houses will do that, other fragrance houses will not. I've chosen to do it, that way it gives you a little more insight into what's going into the fragrances. Because if you're really familiar with the origins of some of these uh, ingredients, you'll know that depending on where on earth they're sourced from, they smell a little bit different. Okay, so in the top, we have a gin and tonic accord, Balkan juniper berry, Egyptian geranium, French clary sage absolute, and Cox apple, which is an apple that originates in the United Kingdom. Then in the mid, tobacco leaf absolute, Virginian cedar wood, Indonesian patchouli, and oak wood. And in the base, we have black vanilla, Venezuelan tonka, Haitian vetiver, Brazilian guyac wood, and beeswax absolute. Like I said, this one at its heart is a tobacco fragrance, but there's a lot going on there supporting that tobacco. There's a little touch of sweetness in here from the tonka, from the black vanilla in the base, but it's never really a fragrance that goes very far to the sweet side. As I said, this one, much more of a gentlemanly kind of tobacco fragrance. In the opening, you have that gin and tonic, of course, mixed with the juniper. Those kind of play hand in hand. A little bit of freshness there, a little pop, a little seeing off the top. The apple smells very nice. Not the type of apple that you're going to find in you know, designer fragrances where you have that really syrupy, sweet kind of um, synthetic smelling apple. It doesn't come across like that at all. A number of supporting woods through the mid and into the base give this a lot of depth, a lot of richness. Not too heavy, but the projection, the performance here, very, very good. Then you have that beeswax in the base, adding just a little more richness, a little more depth without having the fragrance start skewing toward that super sweet side of things. Because that's one of the things I wanted to avoid with this one is going that, that path that has been tread 
over and over again. Not that there's anything wrong with it. The really sweet pipe tobacco. You know, whether it's a cherry pipe tobacco or honey pipe tobacco, I didn't want it to go, you know, in that direction. I, like I said, love many fragrances like that, but to me, that's, uh, it's already been done. This one, for me, more fall and winter, uh, daytime or nighttime, the one that works great dressed up. This one, a very nice formal type fragrance. Office safe as well, though it's not at all uh, the type of scent that's going to turn people away. And like I said in the first video I did about these fragrances I was working on, I was trying to go for things that were unique. So fragrances that when you smell them, you don't go, oh, that smells like that, or that smells like that. I didn't want any anything like that going on whatsoever. And I wanted them to be wearable. So fragrances that when you smell them, you go like, oh yeah, I can wear this in all kinds of different situations. I didn't want it to be something where yes, it's unique, but you can't wear it because it's kind of cool to have fragrances like that, almost like a little piece of art that you take off the shelf every once in a while and spray and you go, oh, that smells awesome. And then you sit it back up on the shelf and reach for something else. I didn't want that. I wanted something that you grab it and you smell it and you go, oh yes, this is great quality, smells completely unique and I can wear it. <laughs> so I knew there had to be a tobacco fragrance in this line of fragrances that I was working on because I love tobacco fragrances. Some of my absolute favorites ever are tobacco fragrances. So in this initial lineup, there are going to be seven fragrances. This is the first one I'm going over with you guys, but there's going to be seven. So that means there are going to be six more videos like this one coming up very soon where I break down each one of these fragrances a little bit. So be on the lookout for those. They're going to be coming up on the channel pretty rapid fire as I work through these. I kind of wanted to give each fragrance its own little slot here. That way I can break them down a little bit and just kind of give you a little bit of behind the scenes. So this tobacco, to me, more, like I said, a gentleman's tobacco, somebody wearing a smoker's jacket, perhaps at a gentleman's lounge or at their home library. Of course, that's where the gin and tonic comes in as well, having a drink while you're having a, a smoke with that dry tobacco leaf, the surrounding woods, a little bit of sweetness, just mm, awesome. And I have had a number of people smell this one already and really good feedback so far, really good, both for men and women, so I'm really happy about that. Of course, like I said, I'm gonna have some people on the channel giving just their impressions, their thoughts on the fragrance as well, so you can hear it from other people, because I don't wanna come across like, you know, I'm doing a hard sell. So, that's the first fragrance. The tobacco scent, with a lot of sophistication, depth, richness, not too syrupy sweet. I absolutely love, love the fragrance. I think it's awesome. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'll have more people on here in the near future and there's going to be more of these videos coming up really soon going over the other fragrances. So we've got six more to go. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.